it's a nail tutorial let's get right into the video so before i fix my nails i scrub my hands with tea tree facial scrub um it is a facial scrub because that is what i have you can actually use hand scrub or olive oil and sugar to scrub your hands and if you watched my previous video i scrubbed my face and the same reason you scrub your face is also the same reason you scrub your hands to remove excess dirt open up your pores it gives you clearer skin your knuckles will become brighter and it will not be too too dark and you would also remove excess dirt and um, dead skin from your skin so that is the main reason we scrub our hands and especially when we are going to fix our nails it is very important that the nails look very very good on your fingers when you fix them and you can see that i am scrubbing each of my fingers and my knuckles and when you are done this is how it will look like then i'm going ahead to rinse off my hands from the scrubbing that i did make sure that you are rinsing every piece of scrubbing material over your hands so that you don't leave any residue on your hands so basically that is how you do it girl and then you use your wipes to wipe off every water every residue off now to the interesting part these are the things you need a false nail a nail hardener you're going to need a nail glue now this is a trimmer you would need a cuticle pusher but i couldn't find my cuticle pusher anywhere can you believe that so you use a cuticle pusher and i'm going to be using a buffer as well or a nail file this is cotton and then a nail remover or you can equally use acetone now i'm going to be using this buffer or nail file to actually flatten my nails and to remove every shine from my nail okay this would help your the false nail to really sit well on your nails you don't want your false nail to look like i say i get so and i say like it's looking like a whole mountain on your finger your fingers are flat enough for the nails to sit well so that is why we flatten our nails with the buffer or the nail file and the professionals will say that buff it to the same direction i tried but i kept on going back and forth if you can't please buff it to the same direction it is recommended and when you are done you use your brush to brush off all the residues from the buffing that you did and so that everything will come off your fingers and your fingers will look as dry as possible and clean from every um, residue on your finger and then once you are done you use your acetone or nail remover pour a little on the cotton and use it to clean your nails every part of your fingers and your side your nail beds every part so that they dry out very well and also remove any excess dirt so because you're going to be covering your nails with a false nail you need to make sure that your nails under the false nail is, is actually clean and protected so that you don't end up having damaged um, nail at the end of the day now i'm going to be using this trimmer to push my cuticles back like i mentioned i didn't find my cuticle pusher anywhere this is what a cuticle pusher looks like so please do use a cuticle pusher i had to record this i had to go somewhere so um the work had to go on so i had to use my trimmer to do it and it wasn't it, it, it will not do the job as compared to a cuticle pusher but it did it pretty pretty well like close to 100 percent and over here i am pushing my cuticle back the reason we push a cuticle back is to make sure that the nails will really enter into your nail bed and then it will look like the false nail is actually growing from your nail even though it is false nail it, it will be obvious but when you set it right onto your nail with your cuticles pushed back it will look very very um natural coming out from your nail so that is the main reason we push the cuticles back and when i was done i used my nail hardener to kind of as a base coat on my nails um some people do it like three times or two times i did it like two times i did two coats the nail hardener would serve as a barrier between my nail and the false nail so that i would have my nose protected throughout the time that i'll be wearing the false nail so do it according to your nail size and and your entire fingers throughout okay now to the main agenda this is the nail i got i bought it from accra inside makola mall i really love the ad and it is also so very cheap it is just 20 ghana cities it came with stickers i've read experiences from people that the stickers doesn't really help it really makes the nails come off fast so i'm not going to be using that so coming um unwrapping or unboxing this is how it looks like it has 24 sets um 24 pieces in each set and over here what i'm doing is i'm just matching the nails according to my nail size you should be able to match every nail that you pick according to your nail size so that you don't end up using too small or too big nail 
to fix your nails if you use a smaller nail and when you are done you look like um a retired chicken so you would want to really match your nails according to your nail size so that you have like perfect installation okay and if it is too big and you fix them you have the glue sticking through your finger sides and you have a very painful experience when you are you finish fixing the nails so before you start applying the nails make sure you are matching every part of the nail to your nail size and using the right sizes of nails okay so that is very very important for you to note over there and when i was done matching my nail size i packed everything back into the nail because it is 24 sets i only needed 10 for my nails and it is so interesting that i can use them again like who doesn't love that i can be using them again so these two nails that i set aside i realized that when i was matching they weren't really fitting my middle finger so they were too big and the rest were also too small so i had to file them to my fingernail size so that i don't end up hurting my nails so that is what I, why i set them apart to really really file them so if you are having um two bigger nails or two smaller nails please file them according to the nail size at the sides okay so that you can have a perfect nail for a perfect installation and i did it for the two nails i did it for the other nail when i was done with the nail okay so when i tried it on i realized that it was fitting perfectly okay and when i was done i brushed off all residues from my hands before starting to um, glue them so i am turning the nose to the other side so that i can really have a, a good experience and a fast experience okay now using my nail glue it is just a normal nail glue you can use any nail glue that you have and i'm going to start right from my pinkies it is very recommended to start from your pinkies for convenience sake and especially if you are a beginner like myself you you do not want to complete your all of your whole nails let's say if you are doing your right hands first when you finish doing it you might be you might find it difficult to do the other one so please start from your pinkies and do it side by side so you do a pinky on your left and then you go back and do it you go ahead and do a pinky on your right so you, it, then you progress as you go and the fixing of the nails you apply a generous amount of nail um, a generous amount of glue on the nail and then on your natural nail before you attach the falsy onto your natural nail and you push it into your cuticle and then you press it on for some seconds and then you leave it until you realize everything is fixed okay now doing it again i pour a generous amount of um, glue on the nut on the false nail and on my natural nail i push the nail into my cuticle and then i press it on until everything is completely fixed now make sure that you are not pushing the nail too deep into your cuticle otherwise you would damage your nail beds and when your nail beds are damaged it will really take a long time for you to have a recovery so please do not damage your nail beds by pushing it too hard into your cuticle okay after all they are just temporal you don't need to go too hard on yourself the nails will remove anyway so don't hurt yourself okay and when i reached my thumb i did it for every part of my finger until i reached my thumbs and it was more convenient because because i was doing it side by side so that is why you need to be doing it side by side okay and with my thumb because my thumb is pretty big the nail the glue was generous enough and then i did the same method um strategy or the, the same method that i used for the other nails that is the same method glue on the finger glue on the first nail glue on my natural nail and then i stick it into my cuticle and i press it on until everything is completely stuck together okay now when i was done i used my brush to brush off every residue that, that was left and basically that is the same way you would do for yourself and when i was done i used my oil based um cream to moisturize my nail base you can equally use an olive oil or a cuticle oil for this purpose and this really really worked pretty well for me so basically this is how to install your own nails in the house convenient cheap um it is very easy and also fast as well you don't need to um, be in a long queue to really wait for people to before you can do your nails and you can see some coins as well so this is how it is looking if you love this video please go do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i love you for always supporting and coming back to watch on my videos thank you so much don't forget to share and like bye i'll see you in my next video i'm going to do a hair tutorial very soon of the one i am wearing so do stay tuned and let me know what you think bye